Hey friends, welcome back to another one minute identity and access the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Whoops, that was unintended. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, that actually brings up a really good point is what I was thinking of this morning is unintended actions and consequences that might come from them. In the world of policy management within AWS, often one of the biggest concerns is accidentally granting additional privileges later on in an unintended fashion. So keep in mind that like we said previously, there is a default deny uh, all for actions, okay? And we call that specifically, that is referred to as the implicit deny. And that means, Implicit's a fancy word for saying that it is implied, which means without any further action, we're gonna deny everything. So all somebody needs to do is go along and simply write appropriate allow statements and attach them to whatever identity you're working with to grant them actions. That's useful. It's also really troubling because if I just allow the things that I think I want them to use, it doesn't mean that an administrator can't come along and grant further permissions beyond that. <gasps> which might be really, really problematic for us. So this means that as a general rule of thumb, we try to encourage people to think about writing policies that always include not only the allow, but also an additional deny in that policy to prevent any other potential unintended access. So this means write the allows first, and then come back and tighten up that policy by adding deny statements that are gonna ensure you don't grant privileges later on. Keeping in mind that once you put a deny in there, that is referred to as an explicit deny and it cannot ever be overridden. For a quick example, you can see here, I have a little security policy with two statements in it. This would be a policy that you might attach to an administrator. The first statement allows all resource actions. Okay, so that's a full blown admin statement right there for all API calls. And then after that, I'm gonna use the deny statement to remove a specific set of privileges from this administrator. They will not have the ability to access the AWS billing portal. And so in this way, you can see that the allow can kind of create a superset of permissions, and then you can use the deny to punch holes in those particular permission sets. Keep in mind that nowhere down the road can that explicit deny ever be overridden, making our policies pretty darn airtight. And as long as we're really careful, we should be able to prevent that unintended consequence. See you next time.